Well, many Americans are still trying to come to terms with Robin Williams' suicide. Sheriff's officials say that Williams' personal assistant found him with a belt around his neck at his San Francisco Bay Area home on Monday. Results on whether Williams had any drugs or alcohol in his system are still weeks away. Williams was 63 years old and had suffered for years from substance abuse and from depression. Just last month, he announced that he was returning to a 12-step treatment program. WMTW News 8's Kitty Thompson spoke to depression experts and those who struggle with it on a daily basis, and she joins us now to explain it in tonight's top story. Kitty, so sad. It definitely is, Tracy. And what we've learned is that depression does not have a face. It can affect anyone at any time for no particular reason at all. Mental health experts say the only way to better our understanding of it is to talk about it. And one woman in Augusta is doing just that, sharing her story to help others. Laura Benedict is a familiar face in central Maine, a passionate restaurant owner, a passionate philanthropist, a passionate friend. But behind all that passion is a woman who's battled depression for years. And I tried to take my own life in November of 2000 and could not have come closer to accomplishing that. Her story could have ended the same way as Robin Williams, whose history of depression is now being linked to his suicide. How could a man who brought happiness to strangers struggle so deeply inside? For years, that's how Laura Benedict lived her life. I was 100%. I was happy. I was outward. I was, I was the happiest girl in the world. And I went home and I'd crumble every night. You know what I mean? It's not the right. National Alliance on Mental Illness yeah. says people <laughs> dealing with depression wait an average of 10 years before getting the help they need. So imagine if you found a lump somewhere in your body and you waited 10 years to seek treatment versus the very first time you felt it and you went to the doctor and said, help, I think something's wrong. Mental health experts say depression is far more common than people choose to believe. And the reality is that we have to create a culture. It's not really on any one person. It's on us as a society to open up the dialogue, to really talk about mental health the same way we talk about physical health. I know what it feels like to try to outrun your own shadow. I know what it feels like to try to be somebody you're not. I know that. And today, this is exactly who I am. You're going to save a life today. Laura Benedict has no problem speaking openly about the depression that almost took her life. Talking about it is part of what helps her manage it today. If it can happen to people that look like they really would be the last person you would suspect, yeah. then maybe you could just talk to somebody, pick up the phone, and, and let's try to push the stigma away a little bit. NAMI Maine provides help and hope with resources for people and their families. You can call the helpline at the bottom of your screen or visit our website, WMTW.com, for more. Live in the studio, Katie Thompson, WMTW News 8.